The Saints beat the Arizona Cardinals 31 to 9. This game was pretty much done before it even started. I knew the Saints were going to win. They're just a better team. So they didn't win. Drew Brees had a great game. He threw for 373 yards and had three touchdowns. He looked really great out there. His thumb looked fine. This man picked up right where he left off. So the Saints are looking good overall. Their defense held down Kyler Murray, which is not easy to do. The Saints are just a complete football team. And they're going to the Super Bowl. They're on that path. I don't see any team stopping them or slowing them down. So Drew Brees had a great game. Latavius Murray had a great game filling in for Kamara. He had 100 plus yards rushing. Michael Thomas had a great receiving game as well. The Saints are clicking on all cylinders. So they did very well. Drew Brees looked sharp out there. I knew he was going to have a, a great start, a great game, when he completed eight out of his first 10 passes. When he was just zipping the ball to these receivers and tight ends and backs, when he was just flinging the ball all around and looking good out there, I said, yep, the Saints are going to win. This is a done deal. So they look really good out there. I like what I saw from them. They just look unstoppable. And I've got to say this too. I am proud of Teddy Bridgewater as well. He was undefeated <clears throat> during this time while Drew Brees was out nursing that thumb injury. So I have to give props to, the, to uh, Teddy Bridgewater. He handled himself very, very well, very professionally. He didn't sulk or pout when Drew Brees was named the starter on Sunday. And I wish him luck. I do believe he should be the heir apparent to Drew Brees. So that's what will probably happen, and it should. Now for the Cardinals, as many of you all know, I am a big time believer in Kyler Murray. He is the real deal. The future is bright for the Arizona Cardinals. They were just overmatched in this game. Just That's just what happened, plain and simple. But like I said, I'm not worried, because in about five years, the Cardinals will be a dominant team. It's just not their time yet. It is the Saints' time. So look for the Saints to keep on winning. Look for them to make noise in the playoffs. And they will be in the Super Bowl playing in Miami. Yes, it is true. Now I've got them making the Super Bowl. This is their year. And they keep getting better and better game by game. Now they've got Drew Brees back. And by the way, I'm glad he came back. A lot of people were saying, well, he should have sat out this game. They're playing against the lowly Cardinals. Now, nah, my thing is, if you're healthy enough to play, you should play. And Drew Brees looked healthy out there. His doctors felt he was well enough to play. So, hey, if Drew Brees feels he's healthy enough to play and the medical staff feels he's healthy enough to play, then, yes, he should play. I have no problem with him playing in this game. And I have no problem with him playing in any other games. As long as he's healthy, as long as he's productive, he should be given the opportunity to play. And the Saints made the right decision there. Man, the Saints, I just like what I'm seeing from them. This team is on a roll. So I look forward to them continuing to improve and get better. And I look forward to seeing them in the Super Bowl. That's what I have happening. I just think everything is aligned for them to just win and make it all the way playing in the Super Bowl. So we'll keep seeing what happens with this team. Kamara, I'm sure, will be back soon. And when he gets back, the offense will even be better than it was on Sunday. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So you should definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.